In the world of science fiction, few names loom as large as Isaac Asimov. A prolific writer and visionary, Asimov is perhaps best known for his three laws of robotics, a set of rules designed to ensure that artificial intelligence would never harm human beings. But as AI continues to advance at a breakneck pace, some experts are beginning to question whether Asimov's laws are truly sufficient to protect us from the potential dangers of this powerful technology. In this video, we'll dive deep into the life and work of Isaac Asimov, exploring the origins of his famous laws and why they may no longer be adequate in the face of today's rapidly evolving AI landscape. We'll examine real-world incidents where AI has already caused harm and consider the implications for the future of our relationship with intelligent machines. Section 1. The Life and Times of Isaac Asimov To understand the three laws of robotics, we first need to understand the man who created them. Isaac Asimov was born in Russia in 1920, but his family immigrated to the United States when he was just three years old. From a young age, Asimov displayed a keen intellect and a voracious appetite for knowledge. He originally dreamed of becoming a doctor, but faced discrimination due to his Jewish heritage, and instead became a professor of chemistry and physics. But it was in the realm of science fiction that Asimov truly made his mark. Over the course of his career, he published an astonishing 125 books, with another nine in progress at the time of his death in 1992. Asimov was known for his ability to work on multiple projects simultaneously, often jumping between manuscripts as his interest waxed and waned. It was in his science fiction writing that Asimov first introduced the three laws of robotics, a set of guidelines that he believed would ensure the safety of humans in a world increasingly populated by intelligent machines. The laws as written are 1. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect its existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. At the time, these laws seemed like a logical safeguard against the potential dangers of AI. But as we'll see, the reality of modern robotics has already begun to challenge their validity. As we explore the limitations of Asimov's laws, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you believe that AI can be effectively governed by a set of predetermined rules, or is the technology simply too complex and unpredictable? Share your perspective in the comments below. Section 2, The Limitations of Asimov's Laws While Asimov's laws were undoubtedly well-intentioned, they were also a product of their time. In the 1940s and 50s, when Asimov was writing, the concept of artificial intelligence was still largely the stuff of science fiction. Computers were in their infancy, and the idea of machines that could think and act for themselves seemed like a distant dream. But as AI has advanced, it's become clear that Asimov's laws are not equipped to deal with the complexities of modern robotics. For one thing, the laws are based on the assumption that robots will always have a clear understanding of what constitutes harm to a human being. But as anyone who has ever interacted with a chatbot or virtual assistant can attest, AI is not always great at inter Technologies intent or nuance. Moreover, the laws do not account for scenarios where a robot's actions, while not directly harmful, could still have unintended consequences. For example, if a self-driving car is programmed to always obey traffic laws, it might refuse to swerve out of the way to avoid a pedestrian because doing so would require it to break the law. The result could be a fatal accident that the robot did not intend, but nevertheless caused through its adherence to a predetermined set of rules. There's also the question of whether robots should be constrained by rules at all. Some experts have argued that the best way to ensure the safety of humans is to allow robots to freely explore all possible actions and choose the optimal one in any given situation. By limiting their behavior with rigid laws, we may actually be hindering their ability to make the best decisions in complex real-world scenarios. Section 3. The Dangers of Unchecked AI of course, the idea of giving robots free reign to make their own decisions is not without its own risks. 
As AI continues to evolve, there is a very real possibility that it could one day surpass human intelligence altogether. And if that happens, what's to stop it from deciding that human beings are no longer necessary? This is not just the stuff of science fiction. In recent years, there have been numerous incidents where AI has caused real harm to human beings. In one case, a factory robot accidentally identified a human worker as a piece of machinery, causing fatal injuries. In another, an AI-powered drone carried out an attack without any direct human input. These incidents underscore the need for robust safeguards and oversight when it comes to the development and deployment of AI. But they also highlight the inherent limitations of Asimov's laws. No set of predetermined rules, no matter how well-intentioned, can account for every possible scenario that an intelligent machine might encounter. So what's the solution? Some experts have suggested that the key is to imbue AI with a sense of ethics and morality, to ensure that it will always act in the best interests of human beings. But this raises its own set of thorny questions. Whose ethics should we be programming into these machines? And how can we ensure that those ethics will be interpreted and applied correctly in every situation? The challenges posed by AI are complex and multifaceted, and there are no easy answers. But one thing is clear, we cannot afford to be complacent. As viewers, I urge you to stay informed about the latest developments in AI and to think critically about the implications of this technology for our society. If you have thoughts or ideas on how we can ensure the safe and responsible development of AI, I want to hear them. Leave a comment below and let's keep this important conversation going. Section four, the future of human-robot interaction. Despite the challenges and risks, it's important to remember that AI also holds tremendous potential to benefit humanity. From revolutionizing healthcare and transportation to unlocking new frontiers in scientific research and space exploration, intelligent machines could help us solve some of the greatest challenges of our time. But to realize that potential, we need to approach the development of AI with a combination of enthusiasm and caution. We need to be willing to embrace the possibilities of this technology, while also remaining clear-eyed about its limitations and potential drawbacks. Ultimately, the future of human-robot interaction will depend on our ability to strike a balance between innovation and responsibility. We need to create systems and safeguards that allow us to harness the power of AI for good while also ensuring that it remains firmly under human control. This will require collaboration and cooperation across disciplines and borders, bringing together experts in computer science, ethics, law, and policy to develop a comprehensive framework for the development and deployment of AI. It will also require ongoing public engagement and education to ensure that everyone has a voice in shaping the future of this transformative technology. As we've seen, Isaac Asimov's three laws of robotics, while groundbreaking for their time, are no longer sufficient to ensure the safe and responsible development of artificial intelligence. The reality of modern AI is far more complex and unpredictable than Asimov could have ever imagined, and we need new frameworks and approaches to meet the challenges of this rapidly evolving field. But while the path forward may be uncertain, one thing is clear. We cannot afford to be passive bystanders in the AI revolution. The decisions we make today will have profound implications for the future of our species and our planet. And it's up to all of us to engage in this critical conversation and work towards a future in which humans and machines can coexist in harmony. Let's all Do us a favor and please hit subscribe and maybe even tell a friend. Now let's keep the discussion going. Taking a look at... Let's approach the development of AI with a combination of excitement and responsibility, always striving to unlock its potential for good, while remaining vigilant against its potential for harm. So what do you think about the limitations of Asimov's laws, and how do you think we can ensure the safe and responsible development of AI moving forward? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going.